Uh, what's going on, y'all? How you guys doing out here on this Friday? Uh, hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good. Hey, I want to get a shout out to uh, James. He's one of the rec uh, recruiters here that I usually deal with and I send drivers to. Uh, he actually, almost every driver I sent to got approved and hired, so that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I have one that got declined, so that's that's really good. Uh, really good mark there for me. I pr you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I, I got his description, you know, his email is on the, uh, and his information is on the description bar on the bottom. So uh, please check him out. You can email him any questions of anything that you have about getting hired and he will help you. He's a real cool guy. So, uh, and his, you know, he, he's, he got one of the biggest agencies here. He worked for one of the biggest agencies here, uh, DUV. Uh, they guys are pretty big. So just check them out, you know, and, you know, say what's up or whatever and uh, cool people. So let's go to the search. Today's search is going to be starting out California. Somebody want to check Northern California, but uh, somebody also wanted to check Sacramento, California. And that's almost on the north side a little bit. So I'm going to just knock both of them out right here because it's almost not too far away from it. So, well, let me go back. Damn, I messed up already. Since there's two people here asking for some freight here, some searches, so uh, let me do. Let me do. Uh, no, my bad, my bad. Sorry. Let's do uh, maximum results. Let's put 500. See what stuff coming out of there. 147 loads. So this is uh, not too far away from Sacramento. It could be north or south. Now, of course, that first one is Alaska. If you don't know where these places are at, and you ain't got time to look at the map, click on details, scroll down to where it says stops maps, and it will tell you exactly around where's it at. You see California, man, all the way across, Whew. Staten Island, almost near the Hamptons. Wow, look at that. Ooh, that's, that's deep. That's deep. Wow, that's deep. Whew. Yeah, uh, uh, that's a that's a long haul for me. I I don't like doing them long hauls like that. <laughs> Maybe when I first started, but I'm gonna scroll down for you guys to see it. Now to the right, what it say hazmat. Those are different codes. Could be closed. Uh, CGA PP is different products or whatever. Uh, machinery packaging stuff like that. So. I don't really pay too much too much attention to that. Uh, that's fifteen thousand pounds building materials. Let's check this one real quick. Sacramento going to uh, uh, Boise, Iowa. Uh, it's two unloading destination. Future charges one hundred seventy two dollars. That's a little bit low. That could probably be ne negotiated a little bit higher, depending on what the market is. Uh, Unloading looks like two stops, maybe at the same place. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, yeah, it might be uh, two buildings right next to each other, something maybe like that, but it's not that heavy. So, and, and you probably gonna get knocked out real quick over here. So, uh, let's go down. Remember, I'm going too fast, you could play back this and uh, and uh, watch a little bit slower speed. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, really appreciate it if you do. If you don't, it is still cool. And uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you can, man. Really appreciate that. All right. There you go. Uh, and I wouldn't mind doing that 29 miles, 350 bucks. That's not that bad. Well, it's two something at the Lancers Cup, but. You know what I'm trying to say. It's not that bad. All right, next search is a place where I don't like really going. Well, this place is not that bad because it's right there at the borderline. So, uh, it's put 100 miles. So, there's 72 lows there in the 100 miles radius. Jacksonville, Florida, that is FedEx loads. That's team loads. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Uh, Jacksonville to uh, Kissimmee, Florida. That's not a bad one. Two stoppers. Or well, it could be two or three. Oh, there's a few stoppers here. Uh, you're going to Georgia, Georgia, then kiss me. Yeah. 
Uh, it's paying all right, but it got multiple stops. Uh, they didn't add the uh, multiple, multiple stops here, which you got to get paid extra for that. And uh, you probably get some more money for this load, but they didn't add the uh, the future charge neither. So that's what you got to get in contact with them. I would, now look at this uh, Jackson River to North Carolina. That's a little bit low. Uh, Jackson River to Miami, that's a no-no. That's a no no look. You see, there's nothing coming out of Miami. Miami is dead. You see the freight coming out of here? Miami to Georgia. Wow, look at that. $950. Hours. You see, they, they get you down there because they know you stuck down there. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of pickups down there, and they try to drop that rate ridiculously, which is crazy. Let me scroll down. Yeah, I don't go down south. I don't try to pass. Uh, I don't try to pass Jacksonville, Florida. Be honest, I don't try to pass that. That's it. All right, let's get out of here. Let me check. Dallas, Texas. Yeah, boy. Oh, Cowboys. Dallas, Texas, two miles radius. Now, somebody wanted to check Dallas, Texas, and going, uh, okay. Round trips, please. All right. A lot of loads coming out of Dallas. A lot of loads. A lot of loads. Scroll down for you guys can see it. You got 248, uh, 1,600 miles. That's not that bad. That's okay. Um. Uh, yeah, race down in Texas, like I told somebody before, they not that they are. Right. They ain't that crazy. You probably get a good one. Uh, Dallas to Pittsburgh, two thousand two miles. Yeah, that's gonna be under like a dollar sixty nine or something, a dollar seventy around there. Uh, not too much good freight there, man. Couple good ones, but that like the two seventy eight here, going to Colorado. That's I guess that's all right. Uh. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all right for now. I mean, they, it's not that bad. Uh, at least it's not no uh, worse lows than. But this is this is not that bad here. New Mexico. It's not a bad low. It's, I mean, it's all right. I mean, just to get you out of there is not that bad. It got three days on this, so, and that's for the next month, so. This is this a little bit too early to even try to uh, book that unless you already got your, your you know your week plan already. All right, let me see. All right, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, uh, you guys can see it, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, you know, I do this guys, I do this for you guys to see what's the race coming out of your areas. You know what I'm saying? So that way. You make that right choice before coming over to Landstar. But if you run, you can make that money, man. I've been running every day for a while, man. Uh, been running every day for a minute. I'll be trying to kill it out here, but... Uh, what, what is not coming up? Yeah, man, it doesn't depend on you, man. A lot of people come over here and, you know, their mindset changed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, Detroit right there. You know, you got to give yourself a go. You want to make $2,500 a week, go out there and try to make $3,000 or whatever. You know, just give yourself a little push, you know, and try to be out there, you know, because, you know, once you out here, you're your own boss. You know, kind, you know, 85% of your boss kind of, but you know what I'm trying to say. You ain't got nobody uh, booking your loads for you or nothing. And you don't book a load, that's on you, you know. I mean, they ain't going to be calling you. Unless you don't work for 18 days, then they will call you to grab your trailer for you to give it to another worker, you know, like me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But uh, just, you know, get out there and get that hustle, man. Uh, I had a couple of new guys that emailed me uh, the other day, yesterday, saying he, was, he made like $2,500 to the truck or whatever. So that wasn't bad, you know. Uh, wish them guys good luck, man. Not that bad. Got some already free there, three hours a mile. Uh, remember, always look at the date with his pickup, deliver, and uh, you go from there. All right, uh, this is it, man. My last uh, video of the week, of course. 
Hey, uh, John Copeland and Prisoner of the Highway. And there's a couple more out there that uh, I didn't got. I'm going to try to get you guys next week. I didn't forget about you. So uh, you guys be safe. Enjoy your holiday. And uh, be safe out there, man. Don't be drinking and driving. Let somebody else drive for you. <laughs> All right, be safe. Thank you.